SPSS statistics also lets you copy and paste data between what are called data sheets. Now a data sheet is what you would commonly refer to as a window. So that's the X at the top. And we had seen earlier that when we don't have, that you can't click file close when you only have one data sheet open. So if I closed all of uh, SPSS statistics windows and then I tried to close this window, uh, the, the only window that was open, this would be grayed out because you cannot close the only, the only one remaining data sheet, i.e. the only window that's open. So in this case, I have more, more than one open. You can see that under window. I have more than one open, and so you know this is this is option is available to close it. In any case, uh, now you can copy data between the windows, so or the data sheets, right? So if I wanted to go to our employee data uh, .sav file, and I say say I wanted to copy and paste these two variables, well, you can do that by right clicking and then selecting copy. And notice that although you can also uh, select, and I'm hitting shift here to select the second row. You can hit control C to do this as well. I found that it seems a little bit more reliable to use the right, to use the mouse. So right click, select copy, and notice that we're in the data, um, we're in the variable view uh, here. Now if I go back to my Big Mac uh, and I go select row 14 and 15 and I right click and paste, sure enough I get these same the meta the metadata these properties the attributes for the variables will be pasted in here as well but when i look at my data view and you will notice right i have my these two new columns this one and this one but i don't have any uh, if i scroll down i don't really have any data in that and that's because if you copy just the metadata from here the variable view into the variable view of another data sheet you won't get the data you will get the metadata but you won't get the data itself now another thing to keep in mind here is that if I undo this and I go back to copy my this under data under variable view if I copy both of these like I did before right click and copy and then I go back to here to my big Mac um, SAV file and I just I don't select both rows this time. So pre previously I selected both rows and then I right clicked and pasted. But this time if I just select one and paste it, look at this, I don't get the second row. So be careful that when you're copying and pasting you do that part correctly. Now, you might be wondering what happens when it comes to data itself. If I want to copy data from say these first four or five rows, it's the same approach. You can right click on the rows, copy, and then go to your uh, the recipient or destination sheet, go back to the data view, and then same idea, I can right click now. This is slightly different. If I right click and paste, I do get all of the rows. I didn't need to select them all in advance. But notice two things. One, we got the data pasted into the data view, but we did not get any of the metadata at all. So you have to be careful for that. And then secondly, the data itself was pasted into the con uh, into these variables that don't make any sense. So they get one, two, three, four, and all dot zero in the country column, and then that that doesn't clearly doesn't make any sense. Also, if you wanted to get rid of dot zeros, this is um, you can do that, but you need to go to the variable view and then change the in the case of you know which uh, we're in country there, and this doesn't really make sense because it's string. But if you if you had decimals. Um, set it dot one or dot two or dot three or dot four. You want that to be zero in order to get rid of the dot zero and dot you know zero dot one dot two and so on. Anyway, it doesn't apply in this case, but that's how you do it. Now, the other thing that doesn't make any sense here is that we have data values like this was originally a date, and so what we're seeing now in the dollar x column or variable is that we get the date stamp or the, you know, so the, the Unix time value that was previously being shown as a date in this uh, B date. So just be careful that, or be aware that when you copy and paste data this way, SPSS won't check the data types that you're copying and pasting. It's literally just going to copy and paste whatever it sees into the destination as you defined it. So be careful on all of those counts. I'm going to just clear this. So I don't need to have copied and pasted that. 
But SPSS statistics also allows you to copy over metadata by clicking on data and then coming down to copy data properties. And in this case, it's going to say welcome. You can uh, copy uh, properties, can copy selected variables and data set properties from an open data set or external SPSS statistics data file to the active data set. You can also copy properties from one variable to another within the active data set. And basically it's just saying where is your source and it can be an open data set, so open window here, or it can be an external SPSS statistics file, or it can be the, act the active data set, the one that's currently open. But in our case, I'm going to say it comes from one of these non-active data sets, but that's open. And then normally what you do here is then see which of the variables on the left would match on the right. That is the default. So apply properties from the selected source data set attributes to the selected uh, to the matching data set variables on the right. So if I clicked here or on here you're, you're not seeing anything appearing on the right because none of these really match and that's the idea behind that first uh, radio box button. But if I click on the second one you'll see if I click on employee code then you have these potential um, active variables that really have the same data type. And then lastly, you have this option of applied data set properties only with no variable selection. So the approach that you take depends obviously on what you're you know, attempting to accomplish here. If I hit next here, it's going to say no variables are selected, press OK. So you, you know, it's at, let's go back up here. You have to be sure that the ones that you're trying to um, copy over are actually sort of make sense right so you can you in other words if i have employee code and i want to say well you know that applies to this one and maybe this one i'm just hitting the control button down and then you know maybe this one then you can hit next and then you can sort of sort of map these or copy these over on top of what you already have so let's do that and then we'll click on next and go ahead and execute it and here we go and then this is the result that we get right so Argentina and you have all these and and these values associated with there now although that was a little hard to read I, I closed the file and opened it back up the that changed the formatting of our data because the for example under Saudi Arabia we had seen 12 listed and now and, but the original said 12.0 so you need to be careful about doing that sort of thing it, it, depending on what you're after right so now if you go up to date let me show you a slightly different example so uh, same source file, but this time we select the original here, uh, apply properties. And now I'm going to hit control A and just click on next and take a look at var. Okay, so we have v13, then we have var, var, var. And then I click on next here and then next and then finish. Take a look at this. Now we have, although we don't have, we don't have any new data, but we do have the definitions of the other of the gender and and basically the variables right so the gender the b date the age and so on from the employees sav file applied into or added into the this data sheet and you can confirm that by looking at the metadata under variable view for these uh, new uh, data uh, basically for the new columns